Imagine a virus spreading silently, crossing borders, and threatening lives. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been making major headlines lately, monkeypox. The World Health Organization has just declared the increasing spread of monkeypox in Africa a global health emergency. With cases skyrocketing by over 200% in just the last month, it's time to break down what's happening, why it matters, and what you need to know to stay safe. Before we dive in, please note that this video is for informational and educational purposes only and is not meant to scare anyone. For any health concerns or questions about monkeypox or other medical conditions, consult a qualified healthcare provider. Always stay informed and follow guidelines from trusted health authorities. Alright, let's start with the basics. Monkeypox is a viral infection that was first identified back in 1958 when scientists observed outbreaks of a pox-like disease in monkeys. While it's part of the same virus family as smallpox, monkeypox usually causes milder symptoms like fever, chills, and body aches. In more serious cases, it can cause lesions on the face, hands, chest, and even the genitals. Historically, most human cases of monkeypox were seen in Central and West Africa, typically among people who had close contact with infected animals. But things changed dramatically in 2022, when the virus was confirmed to spread via sexual contact, leading to outbreaks in over 70 countries that had never seen monkeypox before. Now, let's talk about what's happening in Africa, where the situation has become increasingly concerning. According to the World Health Organization, there have been more than 14,000 cases and 524 deaths in Africa this year alone, numbers that already surpass last year's totals. The Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has also declared monkeypox a public health emergency on the continent. What's really alarming is that over 96% of all cases and deaths are concentrated in a single country, Congo. Scientists are particularly worried about the emergence of a new variant of monkeypox in a Congolese mining town. This new form of the virus might be more easily transmitted among people and has a higher mortality rate, potentially killing up to 10% of those infected. Unlike previous monkeypox outbreaks, where lesions were mostly seen on the chest, hands, and feet, this new variant causes milder symptoms and lesions on the genitals, making it harder to detect. This means people could be spreading the virus without even realizing they're infected. Monkeypox has also been identified for the first time in four East African countries, Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, and Uganda, all linked to the epidemic in Congo. There's growing concern that the virus could spread even further across Africa and beyond. So, what's the risk to the rest of the world? Like any infectious disease, there's always a chance that the new form of monkeypox seen in Congo could cross borders. In fact, Sweden recently reported its first case of this new variant in a person who had recently traveled to Africa. While officials say the risk to the general public remains low, they expect sporadic imported cases to continue. What's important to note is that monkeypox is not airborne like COVID-19 or measles. It typically requires close, skin-to-skin -skin contact to spread, which means that with the right public health measures, transmission can be controlled relatively quickly, especially in countries with better healthcare resources. The situation in Africa is particularly dire, with children under 15 now accounting for more than 70% of the monkeypox cases and 85% of the deaths in Congo. This is a stark contrast to the 2022 global outbreak, where the majority of cases were among gay and bisexual men. In Congo, the spread of monkeypox is being exacerbated by overcrowded and unsanitary conditions, especially in refugee camps where 345,000 children are living in tents. The health system in Congo is already collapsing under the strain of other diseases like malnutrition, measles, and cholera. The spread of monkeypox in these vulnerable communities is adding even more pressure. Experts are still trying to understand why children are so disproportionately affected, with theories ranging from higher susceptibility to the virus to social factors like close contact with infected parents. Now, let's go over the early symptoms of monkeypox so you know what to look out for. Fever. One of the first signs, usually accompanied by chills. Headache. Severe headaches are common early on. Muscle aches. Muscle and back pain are also frequently reported. Swollen lymph nodes. Swelling, particularly in the neck, armpits, and groin. Fatigue general tiredness and exhaustion. 6. Skin rash. The rash usually starts within 1-3 to three days of the fever and begins on the face before spreading to other parts of the body, including the hands, feet, and genitals. The rash goes through several stages, starting as flat, red spots, turning into raised bumps, and then into blisters filled with pus. The blisters eventually scab over and fall off after 2-4 to four weeks. 
In more severe cases, additional symptoms like sore throat, cough, or gastrointestinal issues may occur. So, how can you protect yourself and others from monkeypox? The best way to stay safe is to avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms, especially if they have a rash. Regular hand washing and not sharing personal items can also help reduce your risk. To combat monkeypox, the 2022 outbreak in various countries was effectively controlled through widespread vaccination and treatment in wealthier nations, combined with efforts to minimize risky behaviors. On doing this video, Congolese authorities have requested 4 million doses of vaccine, primarily for young children, but none have been received yet. Looking ahead, it's going to take a coordinated global effort to stop the spread of monkeypox, especially in Africa, where the impact has been most severe. While the risk to the rest of the world is currently low, we all have a role to play in staying informed and following public health guidelines. To sum it all up, monkeypox is spreading faster than we'd like, and it's important to understand what that means for global public health. We've talked about how it spreads, the symptoms to look out for, and the steps you can take to keep yourself safe. Staying informed is the best way to protect yourself and your community. If you found this video helpful on monkeypox, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and explore our other videos on health and wellness.